So in today's video, we're gonna be talking with the Red Komodo handheld rig. And instead of dragging you through a 15 minute video, going through each individual part that you guys don't really need to see, I'm just gonna tell you all the things that are gonna be in this kit so you could either buy the things yourselves or you could validate your purchases that somebody else uses them to. Now every camera rig starts off with its cage and we're actually gonna be using the eight sin system for the cage, the risers, and also to the base plate that connects the 50 millimeter metal rods. Now instead of using the top plate with the eight sin kit, we're actually just using a small rig natal rail so we can put on and mount other accessories. Now this natal rail also has a rosette mount on the side that's gonna go into some of the handles and other accessories that I'm gonna use later in this video. Something interesting to note that's gonna be on this cage as well is an isolator for your SDI port. Now in a previous video, I mentioned that the SDI port tends to burn out if you're not doing the proper procedures, the isolator actually helps redirect a current to make it a little bit easier and lessen your probability of burning out that SDI port. Now I've also added a small rig cheese plate with another mount monitor as well. In case I want to mount anything like a wireless monitor receiver on a 50 millimeter rod, I have an adapter that's on the side of the cage as well, just in case I need that function. So for the top and the side, I'm using small rig parts. Now, my hands are pretty big, so I actually need a much larger top handle than most people do. So I actually use that bicycle mounted top handle that small rig makes. And for the side handle, I actually just use the wooden small rig handle, mostly because I'm not paying $475 for that outrigger handle that you can get from the red company themselves. It's nice, it's comfortable, it is high quality, and it's great when I'm handheld shooting. Now for power options, we're actually gonna use a tilt to battery plate for the Red Komodo specifically. It fits right into the two BPU slots on the back of this camera and allows you to put bigger batteries and bigger V-mount batteries in case you need more power. Now we're all for having as much versatility as possible, so there's actually a Velcro strap to the side of this V-mount plate, so you could actually put a D-tap splitter on there in case you need to mount other accessories. Like I mentioned before, if you wanna attach something like a wireless monitor receiver on the side of the camera, you can use the DTAP cable extension to make sure that you have enough ports for the things that you want to attach. Now on the small rig monitor mount on my top handle is going to be the small HD702 bright monitor. It's a big monitor, it's nice and bright, it gives me all the features I need to make sure that I have proper exposure. It also has things like focus peaking and false color as well, so I make sure that I don't miss a shot, which honestly I still do from time to time, but I suck less when I'm using that. I think this is the fourth time on this channel that I've mentioned it, but I'm also using the Tilta Follow Focus as well for all of my lenses. Now, a lot of you guys probably know that the Red Komodo has an RF mount on it, but it is Super 35, and you can go and pick up the adapter like you would on the C70, that's RF to EF, but in this case, I'm actually using the Metabone Speed Booster adapter. It is still gonna get me the ability to use EF lenses on my RF sensor, but it also gives you that speed boosting feature that you would find on the adapter made by Canon themselves with a little bit extra build quality. Now, the glass going on the front of this camera is actually the Leica R lenses, and I've been using a set of these for the last couple of weeks on the Red Komodo. They have a really great look to them. They are vintage lenses and they have a nice cinematic image. However, I don't have any links or any way to actually give you the information to get these lenses because you can't pick them up in a traditional sense. You have to go through eBay and get the lenses modded and you have to go through a process in order to get your hands on these lenses. So unfortunately, I don't really have links in the description. You might have to check eBay or somewhere else on YouTube and how to get your hands on these, but I've had a great time in using this set of lenses. I'm using the Tilt Mirage matte box system with the built-in ND filter because Red Komodo doesn't have any. Now this is a great filtering system and I feel like it's a little bit more of a poor man's Polar Pro base camp. Because you still have the ND filter, you can connect other filters in it as well. And I've actually seen people on YouTube go as far as putting five filters on this system. So it's incredibly versatile, but it also doesn't have the giant price tag that something like the Polar Pro base camp would instead. And the microphone that I'm using on this camera is the Rode Video NTG mic. Now I like it because it has a controllable dial so you can control your gain. You have safety channels on there as well. And it's a pretty decent audio option, especially when you don't have the ability to use XLR on board on this camera. And I almost forgot, you might wanna get these Angelbird CFast cards. Now these are 512 gigabytes, but you might wanna use this as your minimum. The file sizes on the Red Komodo are really, really big, and you might wanna look at bigger capacities, maybe a one terabyte card, or another solution that might be larger than the 512s, or just have multiples of these in your bag. And there you have it, that is the Red Komodo handheld kit. If you're someone that does a lot of run and gun filmmaking, particularly handheld, this would be the kit that I would recommend you use, even if you're gonna use a couple of parts in the video that you saw today. I am having a lot of fun with the Red Komodo and the next couple of videos are actually gonna be reviews of how I think about the image and comparing it to some of the other cameras that I've used before and some of the ones I actually own. Till then, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.